Today we're talking about well-known hard rock and heavy metal albums, mostly from the 1990s in desperate need of vinyl reissue. More on that coming up right after this. Hi, my name is Frank. Welcome back to Sundays on Channel 33 RPM, your channel for vinyl, gear, and more. If you haven't checked out Channel 33 RPM on social media yet, please do. I'm quite active on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I will leave links to those below. Tons of great conversations going on there throughout the week. But as I said off the top, talking about vinyl reissues, and it amazes me some of the albums that record companies are reissuing. I made a note here. Did you know that? Whipped Cream and Other Delights, for example, was reissued in 2015. This one makes no sense to me. This album is literally available in every second hand and every thrift store in North America for a buck. Yet yeah, it got the vinyl uh, reissue treatment. At the same time, there are other, there's so many other albums from all sorts of genres in desperate need of reissue. Today we're going to kind of focus this in on the genres of hard rock and heavy metal and I'll give you some of my top picks after I'm done. I'd love it if you could weigh in and let me know what I've missed and what you think should be reissued. So without further ado, let's talk about those records. First up, we have Ozzy Osbourne's No More Tears, 1991. This was a huge, huge album for Ozzy, of course, featuring tracks like the um, title cut, No More Tears, Mama, I'm Coming Home, I Don't Want to Change the World, and tons more. This one is super hard to come by. I was lucky enough to uh, get this with the help of my friend Chris in Austria, who tracked down a copy for me, but they are expensive when you do find them. Uh, and Ozzy and his camp have really dropped the ball on the whole, on, on the whole catalog. I mean, you can get Blizzard of Oz and Diary of a Madman uh, reissued in vinyl, but that's about it. What about the rest of the 80s stuff? What about the rest of the 90s stuff? Not just No More Tears. What about the 2000s stuff? I'm sure there's all sorts of legal um, wrangling going on, knowing Sharon and sort of her relationship with a lot of the past musicians in Ozzy's band, but I really do wish they could clear that up and start reissuing some of those records, starting with No More Tears. Next up, this is from another band that has really dropped the ball when it comes to reissues and that is Van Halen pretty much the whole well not pretty much the whole Sammy Hagar catalog nothing from that has been reissued or issued uh, or, well reissued on vinyl but if I had to pick one it would be the 1995 album Balance. This was a dark album as far as VH albums are concerned. I would say I love Ted and I love Eddie's tone on this record. It was their fourth consecutive number one album so the the demand would be there for a reissue, but I'm sure there's so many uh, conflicts between Sammy and Eddie in the Van Halen camp that who knows if this will ever happen. I was so close to picking up a copy of this album once. I found it at a record store in Edmonton probably two years ago for $50 Canadian. That's like 40 US. I passed. It was still sealed as well. I passed. Of course, I went back a day later and it was gone. Uh, but not just that. I mean, I'd love to get uh, a reissue of For Unlawful Carnal Knowledge. And the other stuff in the um, Sammy catalog, it's easier to come by 5150. Oh, it went to that sort of stuff please if you do it van halen start with balance because i'd love to have that in my collection on vinyl next up another band that has actually these guys have been fairly good at reissuing their back catalog but they are missing a couple key pieces and that is motley crew i would personally love to get a vinyl copy of their 1994 self-titled album this is the only album motley crew did without vince neal and i could explain why it has not been released i'd love to add it to my collection. All right, next up, Rob Halford, my favorite heavy metal singer of all time. This again boggles my mind. Rob has been reissuing and reissuing uh, many, if not all, of his solo records, his albums with Fight, his album with the One Two album he did. Um, he's put out a CD box set, but for some reason the metal god has completely ignored putting this stuff out on vinyl. Uh, particularly my favorite album. If I had to pick one uh, Halford album that I'd love to get in vinyl, it would be Resurrection. This um, came out in 2000. It's a fantastic album. I said this before. It's the best album that Judas Priest never did. It includes the one and only time that Rob Halford and Bruce Dickinson uh, sang a duet or participated on the same song. So I'd love to get that. But again, there's so much of anything from Rob's solo uh, endeavors or his non-Judas Priest bands. I'd absolutely love 
to get on vinyl. Rob, please, please give us the stuff. All right, speaking of Rob, his band Judas Priest. Now, the Mighty Priest has been fairly good at reissuing their back catalog, but there's still some key pieces missing. Of course, uh, Rob left for a couple of albums in the 1990s, and the vocal spot was filled by Tim the Ripper Owens. I'd love to get some of that stuff on vinyl. Uh, um, reissued. I mean, you can get some of this stuff on vinyl, but it's going to cost you literally an arm and a leg. Um, they also did a couple of great live albums, but you know, I'm not holding my breath uh, for any of that stuff. So at the very least, I wish that Judas Priest would uh, reissue their 1993 career respective Metalworks, um, which uh, sort of um, has their best of songs from 73 to 93. And <coughs> pardon me, the reason I bring this up is because there's really no best of Priest you can get uh, on vinyl. There's live stuff, but I'd love a sort of a career um, retrospective where I could just throw on the record player and listen to from, from front to back, but it just does not exist. I think Metalworks would be a fantastic record to reissue. There's some originals floating around, I think, in Europe and whatnot, but again, for the price, um, I'm just going to stick with the CD until these guys buckle down and reissue metalworks okay another classic band black sabbath now these guys have reissued and reissued and repackaged and reissued the whole aussie catalog many 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 times but there are key elements missing from the black sabbath catalog that's from the from the black sabbath reissue catalog that's pretty much any record that ozzy didn't sing on come on tony come on geezer i'm not sure what the complications are here but give us some of this stuff and if i had to start somewhere I would pick the 1992 album Dehumanizer this goes for ridiculous prices online it was reissued actually twice as reissued in 2009 and it was reissued in 2011 on vinyl those sold out quickly and people are just holding on to these things and charging a fortune for them so um if black sabbath did reissue anything from the non-aussie years i would start with dehumanizer and i think many of you would agree with that as well uh, what else do i have on my list allison chains again they've been reissuing some of their stuff it almost seems haphazard i do not understand why the uh, 1990 debut facelift has not been reissued on vinyl, nor the 1995 self-titled album has been reissued. Popular albums, popular band, and a lot of demand for those records. Um, so that's my basic list. I could have gone on forever, um, but uh, I didn't. I asked the same question on the Facebook group a while ago, and some of you... Um, agreed with these ones some other albums i heard that should be reissued including uh, include kiss sonic boom skid row slave to the grind and subhuman race tesla tesla's got to reissue some of the original albums i would definitely love to get a copy of five man acoustical jam um i have been looking for it but i haven't found it for a price yet that i'm willing to pay anthrax sound of white noise those are some of the albums that you guys suggested should be reissued on vinyl what else what did i miss guys let me know let us know in the comments below otherwise thank you for your patience thank you for tuning in if you haven't subscribed yet please click that button check out the social media networks all that good stuff besides that 33ers i hope you have a fantastic week until next time keep on spinning